How's it going, everyone? Lewis Howes here from lewishowes.com. I'm um, just getting out of the Bellagio with uh, my man, Warren Whitlock. Say hello, Warren. Hey! A little too much of a hello. <laughs> um, but I got a special uh, special guest in the back behind me, actually. And his name is Larry Bernay. He is the connector. Pretty much knows everyone in the world from uh, Anthony Robbins to... Uh, how many other people do you know? Name some people that you know. I know Warren Whitlock and you. So there you go. <laughs> perfect. That is all that counts. <laughs> you know? But uh, Larry runs the Sang event, which is Speakers and Authors Networking. Group. Group. Yeah, that's pretty good. Out of L.A. And uh, always has a top quality... Um, speakers and authors pretty much from around the world, a who's who's list shows up every year. So <clears throat> we've been uh, hanging out here at a couple different events, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of business owners, and uh, I've been hearing you give some of your strategies, some of your tips on connecting and, and strategically setting up relationships and building relationships before you actually need them. Um, and I guess my question for you is, what's the best way to connect with people? You're the connector. How do you connect with people so that you, one, build a relationship with them that's not, you know, slimy or skeezy and um, so that it, it lasts a long time, uh, hopefully a lifetime, and uh, both parties benefit from it. So how do you do that? You know, I think more than anything, I think the key thing is you want to find out what's relevant and what's important to someone else. Um, you know, what they do for fun, what they're most passionate about, what they have going on in their business. And uh, hopefully you've got some you know, things in your network that you could trade, that you could offer up a value. I'll give you an example. We were at that uh, conference, you and I, yep. at the Perfect Business Conference, and uh, I noticed the guy from Dippin' Dots. Now, to be honest with you, you know, what I'm going to do with the relationship with the CEO of Dippin' Dots, I have zero <laughs> idea. Right. Um, I like ice cream. But anyway, the point <laughs> is uh, he happened to mention that he's got a publishing business, mm -hmm. an amusing publishing business in country music. And so I happened to ask him, I said, do you know Joel Katz? And he says, no. He goes, who's Joel Katz? I said, well, Joel is one of the most powerful entertainment lawyers in the music business. And I said, according to Fortune Magazine, he's the most powerful deal maker in all of country music. Wow. So I, I don't know this guy from Adam. I have, I've sure. met him once for, what, this guy 15 minutes, the guy from Dippin' Nuts. So <laughs> this weekend or next week or sometime, <clears throat> I will send an email introducing him to Joel Katz, who's the most powerful music entertainment lawyer in the United States. Now the reality is, uh, you know, where that goes, I don't know, Who but it's, it's a good first start as a way of reaching out to, you know, offer something of value. Right. And it's my uh, belief, it's much better to add value uh, well before you need it. As a matter of fact, you know, Warren Whitlock, who's driving the car, who's an expert at Twitter, you know, one of the things when I first met Warren, he was always very good about, you know, teaching me and others about Twitter, and he had a book and he spoke on the subject, but he was also sharing freely his knowledge on the subject. Sure. So you may have knowledge on a subject of deep domain expertise. Mm. You may have people in your network that you might know. As a matter of fact, you know, and I don't know her all that well yet, we've met recently. Um, I happened to meet Wolfgang Puck's ex-wife, Barbara Lazarus, at a, a cocktail reception. We spoke maybe for five or 10 minutes. We exchanged cards, that was about the extent of it. But in the conversation, she mentioned that one of her friends had cancer. So I have some resources that I've learned uh, over the years, either people I know or different things, and I forwarded over an email and said, hey, here's some information and some resources that might be able to help your friend. Oh. And from there, she invited me to a, uh, a picnic, a, a barbecue at her house. Sure. So and, it's not always about business. Yeah, 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 but anyway, the point is, so Barbara, you know, who's built this amazing company, the Wolfgang Puck, sure. uh, you know, all these famous restaurants, uh, she also wrote a book. And you know she does not know as much about you know the whole thing about the marketing of the books as probably I and some of the people in my network. So I reached out to about six or seven people that are in my network that can really benefit because of who she is mm. if they had an article from her sure. on their website. Right. And she would benefit because the, her, her article would be on a, a very highly trafficked website, and ultimately she'd probably sell some more books. So you know that's someone who I'm just cultivating and nurturing a relationship with. Um, and you know, literally, I just met. You know, there was a, a friend of mine who happens to be a, a waitress who is a, a very, um, I find a very phenomenal service-oriented waitress. So I referred her over to Barbara in the hopes that she can possibly add value sure. to Barbara's company. So to me, it's really about connecting the dots. It's really mm. about adding value. And think about anyone that you know in business. If they're at the top of their food chain in their industry, chances are they have a very strong network. No one gets to the top by themselves. Sure. 
And um, to me, I think it's important that you be very strategic on who you cultivate, nurture, and spend and invest time, energy, money, and resources into because you have a finite amount of time. And if you could pick the people that are going to be experts at what they do, who are going to be great referral sources for you and vice versa, uh, it's a good win-win. So I try to find people that are doing amazing at their, at their businesses. So if I refer business over the fence, one plus one will equal 11. It'll make me mm. look good. It'll make the other people look good. So for example, the guy from Dippin' Dots, yep. I don't know him. The guy runs a $500 million company. Mm. Right? Sure. And he's been very successful as a national entrepreneur of the year. Sure. So by introducing him to the number one entertainment lawyer in the whole country music scene, which he's a part of, right. that'll ultimately be a winning relationship. Be big. And I don't know the guy from Dippin' Dots, but right. I'm sure that'll bode well as a first introduction. So exactly. it's these simple little things that anyone can do. And someone might be saying, well, I may not have the network you do. Well, guess what? You can go start tomorrow exactly. and ask some simple questions. You know, who's a, who's a perfect client for you? Mm -hmm. And go to a couple networking meetings in your own community and try to find who the, you know, the hubs and centers of influence are. And by the way, uh, you know, I'm in a room and I'm in, I'm in the car with you know, some authors <laughs> here. Connect up with authors uh -huh. and speakers because they have deep domain expertise. And maybe buy a couple of their books and send their books mm. to people in your network. For or sure. you know, send some of their tips and refer them. And kind of, you know, with Twitter and Facebook, it's a great, and LinkedIn, because of you, Lewis, sure. it's a great way to <laughs> reach out via social media and uh, connect with some people. And with social media, I mean, it can happen a lot faster today. Yeah. Um, you know, Definitely. Connecting with anyone. Yeah, you can connect with anyone. Exactly. 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 Very cool. Well, uh, where can people find you online? Uh, Larry Benet, B E N E T dot com, probably the best place. Larry Benet, the connector. Thanks.